If you have watched my previous uh, videos on YouTube, I made a test, an uh, input delay slash uh, latency test on uh, when I use NVIDIA's Instant Replay or when I use Microsoft uh, Windows Game Bar uh, slash Xbox Game Bar or G Game DVR or Windows Game DVR, whatever it is, like to record in the background, like to record the last 30 seconds or to record the last one minute or two minutes, uh, like when, when you pl when you hit some clips, like when you play Apex Legends or Rock League and you, and you do some good gameplay, you want to record it. And I wanted to see if it affects the input delay. Uh, I mean, the FPS for me did not affect the FPS. However, when I tried uh, both of these uh, services, uh, NVIDIA's Insta Replay, GeForce Experience, Insta Replay uh, and uh, Microsoft background recording like Game DVR, uh, they both affected my input delay. So they both increased my input delay by a lot. So my input delay was 10 millisecond. Uh, my average PC latency slash input delay was 10 millisecond. And when I enabled them both, uh, my input delay slash latency went from 10 millisecond to 30 and 35 millisecond. And it is, uh, I mean, I mean, if you kind of force yourself, you can maybe live with it. But uh, there's a fix. There's actually a really, really easy fix to fix this this big input delay gap, this big latency gap. So, um, and actually, one more thing, like when I used, uh, uh, like when I used NVIDIA's Instant Replay, it actually did a lot of, uh, made my game micro stutter a lot. Like it was really, really unplayable. Like my FPS is not dropping, but the game is filled with stutters. And uh, yeah, and Xbox, uh, Microsoft, Windows game DVR did not make a lot of game stutters, but it made a lot of like a big, uh, P uh, like big PC latency, increased latency. So the fix is really easy. Uh, go to the setting here, uh, PP, like startup and click on the settings and the control panel, search for GPU and enter the graphics settings and enable this, enable this hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and put this on, like enable this. And um, after that, restart your PC. And um, I did the test again, and I saw that when I both use NVIDIA, no, with NVIDIA Instant Replay, my input delay basically uh, stayed the same. Like there was absolutely no difference when I'm recording, when I'm recording, and it was it was amazing. Like it was insane, really, really insane, really, really good. You should you should straight up use it. Uh, and however, when I use the Microsoft Game DVR, uh, the Xbox Windows Game DVR, whatever it is, uh, my input delay went from like 10 millisecond to 20 to 20 or 22 millisecond and then went straight up back to 10 millisecond. So when you record with the Microsoft Game DVR, the input delay um, like uh, increased for only two two seconds or three seconds, but it, it goes back to the to the default to the 10, uh, 10 or 9 millisecond uh, straight up when you when you hit like when it finishes the process. So it's so they are both. Uh, so these both of these services are really good when you have the G hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is on uh, when you have it on. So uh, um, I just wanted to make this video for you guys. If you wanna uh, record while you while you play like online games like Apex Legends, or Rock League, uh, so yeah. And also the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. I noticed when I enable it, my PC becomes so responsive. Like uh, even when I did the latency monitor test, I saw some better results. I, I I think so. I'm pretty sure this like PC responsiveness is not a placebo. Like when I open Chrome, it opens so fast. Like it's insane. So you guys should try the setting when you guys um, like record gameplay and stuff, yeah.